Hey love bugs, it's Riles on Mega Chew one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you've been watching my videos for a while i have not already please drop a line i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me you know um and if you feel like the videos just really give you a good vibe or insight that you truly appreciate please go ahead and give a thumbs up and share it'll be greatly appreciated and send so much love light healing and protection towards your way as always you know my my spiritual essence as well as my signatures images or whatever is highly protected and divinely loved so if anything just coming in against the goal against that, that you know shake something up block you know distort whatever play some bad juju on me i send that right back to you a hundred million times fold except what mine is going to be healing love light and uh, upliftment um and the video i'm doing today is called twin flame 101 hey okas when you it, it can be hard to stay strong or stay in the fight but giving up is not an option it is true you know i've been going through a lot of stuff lately and just you know just trying to center myself ground myself because it was just a lot of things that was hitting me at once that i really had to really you know analyze and just allow myself to see it for what it truly is you know not see it from a negative perspective or a positive perspective but it, you know protecting a uh, perspective of just growth healing and moving forward you know um if you watch the video that i did um i think it was the, the with the thumbnail with the highway i think it was and it's just like it's just turning into fly uh, but, uh butterflies or birds or whatever it's supposed to be and i was talking about um uh this uh this picture of having this guy um sitting up here uh being supposed to be watching everything I, I do and all that stuff and um what was taking place actually um it, when I really looked at the picture and when it was brought to my attention from my friend that I sent it to I uh, thank God it was looking out for me um it wasn't the fact that I was taking a picture of somebody stalking me it was a it was a picture of me about to get assassinated you know um so it, it was a lot for me to have to just really digest that situation of knowing that you uh you've been seeing this guy numerous of times and always wondering why you know that is that not of a coincidence especially if it's at different times of the day where you're seeing somebody and you're wondering why they keep covering their face why they keep trying to you know disguise yourself even the energy that the people that they hang around you can really tell who's hanging with who even when they try to act like they're not together that they were both like sizing me up to where this was going to be a situation to where I, I was minutes away from getting my head blown off and that's how it was and it was something I had to really digest myself with because it was like something do I want to talk about this or do I even you know I was guided to be able to see when you speak on it speak at it from a healing vibration not speaking on it uh, being vindictive or you know trying to call shots out or shots fired you know pun intended you know or anything like that but that was something I had to really digest in my life and it was just like um, the rug, it just keeps on being snatched up from up under me constantly all the time to where, you know, I, it, it was at that point where you're tired of being strong all the time. You're tired of having to always fight people. And it gets to that point where, you know, you live up in your household and people get mad because the things that they plot on when it comes to your life, anything is falling through. So they want you to pay for it. You know, and I get tired of those different things where, you know, people always want to be seen as the victim. And it's just a fact to me. I don't even all. I am a main victim. I don't even see myself as a victim. These are circumstances that's really going to make me a beast at all, all my jack of all trade of the craft that I was brought here to do. And these are the different things where I speak on where other people are always going through stuff and you really don't have that voice to really speak out. There's battles that you're constantly dealing with that you don't speak on with other people. You just move through it and keep it pushing. There'll be different things that you cry behind closed doors that people don't know that you're dealing with. And you could be a person that's always energetic, always laughy, you know, lovey-dovey, all you know, always full of jokes. But they really don't know what you go through behind closed doors. And it's at that point where I said I'm tired to being tired you know I see how you know it's just like when I see different things where I already know my ex always watches my videos and it's at that point where I really don't care you make it obvious that you do but it's at that point where you know I'm telling the truth on you 
you know, there'll be different things where I can show where you, you don't say harsh stuff about me out to other people to make yourself look good. But, you know, you're not telling people that you have security cameras on all, almost on every corner of the house. And I'm wondering why every time I leave my house, people know exactly where I'm at, when I'm at. You know, it's just like, Dad, do I have a GPS locator? On myself that I didn't know about you know and it, it, it's a really scary feeling where you're in a vulnerable point where you don't have family to run to when you have you think you should have family they're supposed to be loving protecting you but it was always I had to be that person that had to digest saying you are that person they see is something that stands in the way of access to something that was granted towards you your trust fund you know you supposed to have inheritance and this and this and that and they're trying to make sure you don't get to it they try to make sure they block everything that's being said or try to make it seem like you're crazy but it's just at that point where I'm just like y'all know I got receipts stop playing with me you know it, it'll be just different things please bring the people that you say all these things to and say it in front of my face and see if you're gonna have enough gonads to sit up here and preach the same thing when you know I got stuff that's gonna sit up here and call you out you know, and you get tired of being that person, you know, where it is like you constantly got to be quiet. And I'm like, I'm not going to be quiet. I see how bad it is. You know, you manipulate your daughter, not knowing when you go down, you about to take her down with you. And she don't even realize how she's being heavily played or manipulated that you have no problem with throwing her up under the bus to make it seem like you do stuff. You know, you get constantly you get tired of. When you're in the house, you know, you're cleaning up different things and you see somebody go right behind you and trash up something and just leave it there just to see if they can get a reaction out of you. And they don't. And they get mad because they don't get these reactions out of you. And it got to that point where there'll be days I sat up here and cried. And it's not because my feelings are hurt. But God already know I'm a, I'm a gangster. I don't care. I'm about that life. I'm that type of person where I will just thump you in your face and then ask questions later. And this is at that point in my life where I had to really stop giving people what they really asking for and let God handle that. You know, it's like my patience is constantly tried all the time where I just tell God I'm tired. You know, I pray all the time and not realizing the things that I constantly face every day is something that's creating better for me, even though when it's something that can really take you down. You know, you got to deal with somebody who's constantly triggering you. You got somebody who always telling your business out here, but they'll tell it how they want to tell it, but not really telling the actual truth that you trying to have me killed. You know, you trying to sit up here and do everything you can because you got all these, you know, children out here and you, you high in debt. You know, it was a good thing when, you know, all families was in group of numbers. Like, we're going to bring her down in any way possible because we can't let this get out that we stole this money. We can't let this get out that this person did this. We can't let this get out that, we were, you know, we were trying to kill her a long time ago. But it's just the fact is God has blocked every single plan you had against me. And you would think, let me go sit my butt down and get right with God. You know, because I see that every plan that I have against this woman is always failing. Or if it's something that you did do and I didn't catch up on it, you mad because it didn't work out in the way you thought it was. You know, you got stuff put in your food. You know, you got folks just sitting up here. You, you paying different people to put bad juju on me. And it'll be something to actually strengthen me. You know, it'll be different things. where And you wondering why your life is bad. I be looking at folks like, how can you go to church knowing good and well you doing the devil's work? Like, who are you? They, do they got hell Satan around here? Be like, oh, I'm going to church. Oh, hell Satan. Where where that church at? <laughs> you know, be different situations like that where it's just like I'm tired of being quiet about different stuff. Like y'all know I've been, you know, I speak on different things that I've been through, and it it will be at that situation where. This is not about, you know, getting attention. This is not about, you know, trying to show me as being a better person or whatever like that. But just being in a situation where, you know, life can really hit you hard. And you really trying to understand, you know, God, why are you allowing me to go through different things like this? Why are you allow people to, you know, do me dirty like that? When you know it, it's just like... It, it, they, they keep accumulating karma that they don't even see coming because they feel like, oh, if God didn't punish them right then and right there, you know, they're basically saying they, they condone how I'm treating this person. They condone how I'm, you know, messing with this person mentally, emotionally and physically and spiritually. You know, I get broke down from people all around me that I thought at one point that I really cared for, that I would step in front of a gun for. But it's the people that I got to deal with, especially up under my roof, that is just like, that's just like if me giving you a chance is just like me giving you a bullet just to make sure you missed me you didn't miss me this time and that's how it had to be you know and it's at that point where when I look at my situation and really digest it 
my situation has emotionally and mentally scarred me. You know, where I've gained weight, you know, all this different stuff that I've been through, heavy depression, and had to be that person that always had to stay strong. And people get mad about that, or they want to prey on the fact is that, you know, oh, everybody, and, you know, looking at them and see the truth when, you know, it would be start, certain things is adding and adding up. Like, why does this person keep saying that this is true? And, you know, you ain't stopping that person from saying the stuff that they say. Because, I mean, this could be a lawsuit that you can really have because, you know, who I'm related to is, is a public official. This is a person that was high high profile celebrity. And you're doing the different things you're doing. How come you're not suing that person? I'll be starting to look at that person like, hey, something ain't up. Because if this person gets up here and got all this, you know, claiming to not be who you say they are and they doing this and this and that, you know, why you ain't suing that person? Why you ain't calling them out? That will make you start looking at folks different, like, you know, or there'll be different people that see that every plan is not working, so they backed out, which was the smartest thing you could have ever did, but it's just at that point where people even see what they're doing and you know, you know the truth and you sat there and not said them because you didn't want no part of it, you catching karma too. You know, so there will be different things that goes on in your life where you really questioning your faith. You really trying to see where the hell God stands at in your life where he letting all this stuff come at you the way it is. And it's like, you know, it's not even trying to disrespect God because the fact is when I get out of my feelings about it, it's just the fact is if it wasn't for God, that man would have, I would have been straight beating somebody hashtag right now. And even it was just the part where I be looking and it, it'll be indirectly when I was talking to my friend who worked at the police department, I'm looking like, you know, I don't already told the cops if I come up missing who had something to do with it. So why would you put yourself in a stupid predic predicament where it ain't even, it's going to be an open and shut case. You just going to get locked up or they're going to be looking for you worldwide, you know, and it'll be different situations like that where I'm tired. You know, I, I stayed quiet for a whole week. That was something that really, when I say it really shook me, it shook me. Like, I was angry. I was past pissed. It was at that point where, oh, you you about to be pushing up daisies. It was like, I'm going to be giving your flowers right along within that casket. 20 feet down. It was like, Rosalind, you only go six feet down. Six feet down. I, I know, because you about to get that extra, you know, them extra feet down there because I'm about to beat the hell out of you that way. But I was just like, no. I'm going to let God do this. Because God be like, no, that ain't your fight. You know, this is why I'm using you. Because there's so many different people that go through some stuff. And you're really trying to understand, you know, what did I have I done in life to deserve some stuff like this? What have I deserved in life? Because it, it was a lot for me to have to digest that my, my, my mom's ex-husband. I don't even say my father because I'm like, no father would ever do their child like that. You don't ever choose some spouse over your children. You know, you would never do that. Even if I was to get married and my, my husband would have children, I would always tell him, I want you to, you know, if y'all got something that you know that can be mended, I want you to handle that. I know what it felt like for you to be proven your love for somebody by you sitting up here emotionally, mentally, and physically beating your child down just to prove how much love you got for somebody. When you had to come to figure out when all this shit go down, you find out that person wasn't even what you would love. It was there for security. That you would sit up here and take care of somebody else's children before you took care of your very own. And you made sure that you embarrassed that. That was something I had to digest. You know, and going through all the different things that I went through. And it just got to that point where you get tired. You know, you really get tired of different things that people just constantly keep doing. Where it's just like you want to live in peace. You want to just go about your way. And people want to try to like, no, nah, if, I, if I can't be a part of that, you ain't going nowhere. No, nah, if I can't be able to move on with you, I can't go nowhere. And it's at that point where I said I learned my lessons, I heal. When I see everybody's about everybody and nobody ain't about me, it's just about me standing in the way of something that somebody want, you know, that's, that's the issue. You know, and you get tired of going through emotional abuse and going through, you know, uh, spiritual abuse and just being breaking down. You know, you watch, you, you know, right now doing videos and you got somebody listening to you, you know, trying to see how I'm make her mad today. How am I going to sit up here and trigger her today? And this is just like, you know, I go through my own faults and I heal from them every day. People need to hold themselves accountable for the messed up situations they put they put their own self in. I didn't put you in that. You made poor choices. Everybody made poor choices. Nobody's not, you know, perfect. Nobody isn't. 
but I'm the only one who's standing in the truth why everybody want to sit up here and say I'm a lie when they know I got so much stuff to prove and, you know, too many receipts to sit up here and do where, you know, it can prove that you're lying. You know, nobody shouldn't have to be at that point where they don't even want to go out and check their own mail. It, are they going to get dry by and have a hole in their head today? You know, where people going to be bold enough to do stuff like that. Nobody shouldn't have to live in fear that way. You know, you, you nobody should have to live in fear that way. And I have to constantly pray to God to make sure, let me stay in my vibration before I end up stepping out the box. Because I'm tired of people testing me in that way. Trying to see if that inner person's there. So, when I can sit up here and call the police on her, she'll go to jail because this was something I didn't do. I don't know why she act like that. And it'll be, it's sad when you have to do that, where you have to have everything dictated. Every time you speak up because you know if somebody get in their daggone feelings, let me go ahead and call the cops and say she did something like this. Because I know there'll be people that's going to have my back to put her in jail because we ain't getting her out. And hopefully that'll be something we can take her out or we can be able to, you know, put cameras and stuff in her in the room so we can always be, you know, one foot ahead. You get tired of going through stuff like that. Like, why does your life got to be this way? This is not something that you, you know, you had to deal with. You know you deal with it when it comes to people that you really loved and cared for. They just really showed you. They didn't really give a damn about you in the first place. They're just trying to hold you back from be becoming better because they feel like their life is messed up. It's like, my, I'm not paying for your mistakes. I'm not paying for the different stuff you did. I didn't do that. I'm only paying for my stuff. I'm trying to heal from the things I've done in my life, asking God forgiveness for the things that I did. But it gets to that point where people going to want to make you, they're going to keep doing stuff and doing stuff till they can break you down. They doing different things to make it seem like, oh, that person ain't going to survive this. This person ain't going to live from that and not realize that situation that you're going through is going to be a blessing in the skies to you. You may not be able to see it now, you know, but these are the different things that's going to really, it, it can trigger you. It can piss you off. It can make you good. Like this person going to be the one I end up smiling my mug shot for today. You know, you go through different stuff like that. Because this person has different mental and emotional issues with them that they really true not want to accept. So they push that out on you. They want to fault you for their mess ups. They want to mess you, you know, sit up here and put you in situations because they keep failing at life when they can actually have true potential. It's like when I see the people that I see, they're very smart, very intellectual, but they put their energy in the wrong situations. You put your energy in the wrong things. And I tell people all the time, when you can sit up here and put your energy in blocking people's blessings, trying to trigger people because of your mental and emotional issues that you want to be mad at, but you ain't being mad at the right person, which is yourself. You can put all these different things in where you watching people left and right to where they can't even wipe their butt sideways without you already knowing about it. Put that same energy on healing yourself, holding yourself accountable like, you know what, I messed up. Or let me tell you what I did. It's not something I'm proud of, but this is what I put you through. You know, it, it's just like you waiting for somebody to tell the truth. But it will be certain people already know, oh, they'll die with that. They'll die with that situation so you can give, you can give up the ghost on that situation. But the things that it is, you, you won't be, there'll be times where you're really trying to find, really, really trying to find the strength to just keep moving and your enemies are hoping that you give up your enemies are hoping that one day you you know you just go out in the street and just not come back so who hallelujah we can finally get what we want you know and that tell people and that's why I always make sure I dictate everything that I gotta go through yeah I got a picture of the dude that was about to straight blow my damn head off you know got cameras all around my house that I never know know where they're at and I'm like shoot I live a most boring life because I don't deal with people because I have trust issues like hell because I feel like if my own family people up under my roof can do this to me you think I want to deal with people out in the street I'm better than that but they'll, they'll think that's funny because they feel like oh she can't live by herself I said that's a big difference between me and you a strong person is the one that can make it out on their own. I'd rather have be by myself than be around folks that I fake flexing and all this stuff and finessing and all that junk. I ain't got time for that. God seen the devil in his face. You know, you be always worrying about the monster outside in the dark hell. Like I live with it with right next to both rooms in my house. You know, but I have to constantly heal from these things. These are the different things that I have to really gain strength to keep going, the momentum to keep going. There'll be different days that I'm ready to just, you know, give the devil what he want. 
but then it'll be different. Like, nah, you a sore, you, you you a sore loser. You can't, you done came too far. That's what they're hoping you do. A lot of times, your enemies will see your blessings before you do, and they get mad as they don't know what because the things that they plot on you, they just really trying to understand how can you come up from the things that I said about you. How can you come up from the things that I've done to you? These are the things I got to deal with every day. Every day. I got to deal with that every day. There'll be different days that I don't want to fight. I'm like, I'm tired of fighting with you. You know, I want to be able to get in the day where I know you ain't doing something to just to give the reaction out of me. Nobody shouldn't have to deal with that. You know, I deal with somebody with multiple personalities and stuff like that. I can be the same person all day long. I mean, sometimes it'd be making me wish, like, they really waiting for that old Rosalind to come back. Because if that old Rosalind come back, I'm going to be glad to be able to go get locked up for what. Because I'm about to give you the old, the good, and the new. Because that's what you're really looking for. And I have to be like, you know what, I'm better than that. I'm going to let your karma come back on you. And that's the thing that your enemies never see coming. A lot of times people don't realize. The more you get cocky, and more, I would be more... More, more worried. Now tell enemies that because they watch them all the time. I'd be more worried when God get real quiet. Like I'm looking like the stuff that you're doing to them ain't working yet. Even though they see, okay, this is happening because you keep disrespecting people. This is happening because you keep projecting on people. This is the, what happens when you keep looking down at people like you better than everybody else. This is what keeps happening. That ain't enough for them. So when guys start getting quiet and it's just the whole point when they start seeing all these warnings, you continue to ignore them. That's when God start ignoring you. And God already, oh, okay, I'm about to, I'm, I'm going to leave you at the feast of the harvest for the devil. Because since that's the one you want to keep working with, I'm going to go ahead and let him deal with you. Because I'm done, you know, and I see it all the time. And I don't say nothing, I'm just waiting. I say, I'm just waiting, patiently waiting. But I'm not, it had to get to that point where I had to stop focusing on waiting for, you know, my abusers and stuff like that to get their downfall. Because that means I'm doing exactly what they're doing. I'm focusing on somebody's downfall. Is that with me? You planting that for me. And you and you don't realize your enemies is planting it for themselves. You stay focused on your healing. People going to want you to stay quiet over the different things that they keep doing to you. Because that, that, that saves face for them. Or when they doing stuff to you and they want to be able to, you know, get external validation on how they doing you wrong out in the street they want you to do that don't stay quiet you speak on that because you never know that could be your you know your exact ticket you need so if something happens to you if you're open and shut case because i already know god is not going to sit up here and let me go down without nothing like that god is going to allow me to live through the stuff that people are trying to pray on my downfall of dying you know, because I'm too many people meal tickets and they want stuff. They ain't earn nothing, but they try, trying to, you know, block me on my blessings or whatever. And that's why I always tell them, I say, I don't know why y'all keep trying to do stuff to me like that. Because I said, if something happens to me, they're going to know exactly who to go to. And it wouldn't be like, it was just like with me and my ex. We used to watch that on crime shows all the time. Now, you should already know. Anytime, and I always tell people anyway when we always talk, I say, I don't know why these people do that because the first time somebody come up dead, they always go to the husband, the wife, the spouse, you know, whatever, baby mama, baby daddy, ex-boyfriend, whatever. They always go to them. And it's just the fact is I got so many domestic, domestic violence records and stuff like that. They automatically going to know who it is. And not even thinking about that because it's all about money. It's all about money because you got, you know, gazillion kids. You got, you know, you got debt like this and this and that. But you want to, you know, blame this is your fault. This is your fault. No, it's not. I, I'm only taking fault for what I did. I'm not, you know, going to sit up here and say I'm a perfect person. Because I know I did some stuff on my ex. I ain't even going to lie about that. I did. You know, I'm not going to sit up here and act like I'm that, you know, oh, you know, oh, you did this and this and that. Because, I, you know, we don't both did stuff to each other. I'm not, you know, embarrassed to say that. It's not something I brag about, and it's not funny to brag about because we are very toxic towards each other. It'll be those things, you, you go, you go, tit, I go for tat, tat. You know, you want to go low, I go real low. And it's at that point where I don't even do that no more. I'm like, oh, he's trying to get a reaction, okay. You know, just go ahead and get this up, you know, or go ahead and spill this up, or, you know, going to do something. That's why I always tell people, be careful what you tell people, what you don't like done to you. Or your weaknesses because as soon as you get up under their skin and they mad because they want to get they want to be big mad and want to poke at you they're gonna do exactly what they need to do 
go ahead and make sure that they get up under your skin. So don't be telling people about what you don't like done to you or what a pet peeve is. Because they'll make sure they'll do it and they'll be trying to sit up here and throw a rock and hide their hand. And that's what I deal with a lot on a daily basis. Like nobody ain't did nothing or you have an attitude when you say somebody, you know, name or whatever. You asking something, you can be cultural. And I'm, I'm the one who need to be angry. You know, I need the one to be the angry. I, I'm the one who almost got assassinated right in front of, you know, a, a couple of kids. You know, it'll be different stuff like that. And I had to really just be able to sit with it. And God saying, just give it to me. And I'm just like, I'm going to need to give it to you. Because if, it, if I if I keep that mess, it's going to be an issue. So you, when you go through different things, you know, you're going to have people, you know, listening and watching, doing whatever they need to do because they got to keep us, you know, they got to keep that persona up. They got to keep that facade up. You keep speaking your truth. This is not about, you know, trying to exit out somebody, in, in, you know, in their ways or trying to make them look bad. No, you're telling what you go through so it can save the next person. You know, but if you and that person, you know who I'm dealing with and you're dealing with them on purpose and you know that dirt, baby, I don't feel bad for you. You're going to learn like I did, you know. There'll be different times I'm like, I wish I never met that dude. I wish I never, you know, you know, if I would have, you know, went the other way, I wouldn't have had to go through that. But I say, I don't, I don't even do that because that's me speaking out of hurt. That's me speaking out of pain. If I did not go through this, I wouldn't know my worth. If I didn't go through this, I would not love myself to where I know I deserve better. And I'm going to move on and get better. You know, I save myself. I, I don't submit to nobody. I'm celibate and I stay celibate. You know, regardless of what people run around here and saying I do, I don't do that. Because anytime somebody, you know, say something about me, I had to be at that point where I'm, you know, you lie on my body. But these are the different things you doing. You know, I don't, I don't have to be in fear of, you know, if I contracted anything unless it was like forced on me. You know, but there'll be different times where I can't sit up here. And be always trying to correct a lie with my truth. Because the fact is, if you know real, recognize real when fake come in the room. You can see, like, why are you always talking down about that person? And, you know, and I always sit up here and say, it ain't even talking bad about nobody. But just being able to say the worst situations you go through can become your biggest blessing. Because this situation right here, it has tried its best to tear me down. There's many situations like this where, you know, people that I once cared, supported, you know, I would have thought highly for it. And I, I mean, it would have been that point if I had you had, but then when it got on shoes on the other foot, it was things that you wanted to rub in my face because that's how you felt when I had it, even though I didn't do that to you, you know. And those are the different things that you go through like that. And it, it was truly a blessing to me. You know, there'll be different days that you want to give up. You know, you telling God, I, you know, I don't have the strength to keep going through this anymore. Why do I have to keep going through this with the people that, I, you know, I thought they cared about me. But it just showed that they didn't care about me. They cared about what I had. They care about what they're trying so hard to keep me from because they know they are not entitled to that. And I don't have to help you if I don't want to, you know. There'll be those type of situations that I get put in where I'm, so I'm tired of being put in that box where I'm, I'm like your narcissistic punching bag or I'm your, you know, your doormat because you get mad because I speak the truth. Stop sitting up here living a lie. You won't have to worry about somebody speaking something on you. It should be the same thing. But, you know, it is what it is. I don't look for external validation. You know, I love myself. I know who I am. I know I matter to myself, even when I had people around me that I had to just it, so, swallow that like my, you know, nobody around me whether if it was somebody I gave birth to or not don't give two rats ass about me all, all because of this situation I really don't went through some stuff and where it had to be like I cared about me and that was just like those are the situations where if I really took a big step back this is something that should have had me six feet deep to where I took my own life and God was like no I'm gonna use this as a purpose because there's so many of Rosalind's are out there there's so many of people that are going through different stuff where all their family have abandoned them and all they have is God in their self. You know, you go through different things like that. And it's at that point where you're going to come out of this and you're going to come out this way better than it is when you entered your situation. It's going to make you so much better that when things get rock hard or things come at you in a whole different way that you weren't even expecting, it's not even going to scave you. Even if it hits you directly, like, oh, that's more of a personal problem than it is my problem. I done been through some stuff. The stuff that you coming at me with, oh, you, uh, no, you got to dig deeper than that, baby. You would have seen the darkness that I had to face a lot of times. So the little stuff that you're doing right now is not even going to phase me. Not even going to scaze me. And these are the different things that you go through. So as far as you gotten, 
you are not the person that started your situation. You know, you're going to come out 20 million times better than you did when you first started. You know, if you had anything that was a weakness, I guarantee you it's going to be your greatest strength. You didn't have love for yourself. You start being very picky about who you let in your energy. When you see the other people are in a downfall of being pure weakness when they want to keep projecting on you, then you have to pray for folks like that. Or half of the time, God just wants you to just stay out of that and not even give it your energy because it's not worth it. Because it'll be a never-ending battle. It'll be people that just, they're comfortable with misunderstanding you. And they're comfortable being misery. And you already know misery, misery love company. Don't RSVP that. You keep moving. You use the ammunition that was thrown for you and you blow your own self up in the best way possible. So whatever you're going through, you too close to blowing up. You too much of glowing up. Okay? And it's like, you know, you are a triple threat. Trust me. You are a triple threat. Because people wouldn't be watching so hard to, you know, to do all they can do to, you know, knock you down. So these are the different things that you go through that you use this as that ammunition. You keep moving forward. If you got to take a break, you got to take time with yourself and pour in your own cup. Because it's like with me, I tell you, I pour, in my, pour out my cup to everybody. There's some that need it, some people that are just watching this just to see where else can we poke and probe at to knock this girl down because it ain't working. It's not going to work. It's not. Even if you did, I guarantee you I'm going to use that as weight and leverage just to battle back up. Because that's I'm built like that. People gonna put, you know, I always tell people, people will ma put their own personal mask up on you because they need external validation. They need that attention. They need somebody to, you know, believe in them. They need somebody to see them as right, even though they live in the wrongest wrong of the life. You know, they're needing that. And that could be something like you, you just fearing just not wake up in the morning. You just fearing, you know, you lose sight in the, in the, in the, uh, the uh, faith within yourself. You don't be giving a dag about anybody on the street that don't believe you or not, not, not like that. You scared of losing self that you don't gave it out to the wrong people, to where you don't gave out yourself and like that. You build yourself back up. You use the exact same thing that's knocking you down to build yourself back up. Don't give up because you're too close to winning. Don't allow that devil to win and damn sure don't let your enemies sit up here and think they're going to win either because you're going to be that one where they're going to admire you and at the same time, they may be asking if you're hiring. How the heck did you get through that? Because we don't put so much stuff on you. Your butt should have sit up here and knocked down. But God made sure that didn't happen because you were that one that was supposed to make it. You were that one that's using an example and make sure you run like that. You post up like that and you keep shining like that. Much love. Peace.